uh, at this point, the air cleaner, air filter, looks in really good shape. There's no dirt in it. Uh, I don't know if it's been replaced or, or if it's just, just hasn't seen a lot of dirty air. But I can rule the air filter out as a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get into this uh, fuel here. And I want to see what the condition of the fuel looks like. I'm pretty sure that I have cornered the problem. Uh, this here, I've loosened the float bowl. And you can see that is not gasoline coming out of the float bowl. That is water. Uh, so I think that it is set and moisture has condensed into the float bowl causing it to not start oh yeah that's that's real good so i think this is our problem so let's go ahead and wow that's on there good hold on let me uh sit you down here real quick Things really stuck. Hold on. Yeah, that here, that there is the problem. Um, it's just water, is what that is. Uh, chances are, if that's all flushed out, it should go ahead and start right on up. Well, let's find out anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out. Uh, make sure that gasket. Still in good shape because I don't have another one um, What I'll do is if this fixes it I'll go ahead and order a gasket for the float bowl Well, I dug deeper If you're looking at this bottle its contents there was a little bit of soda left in the bottom of it, but not much. What you're looking at is a bottle of water, which was in the fuel tank. So evidently there was fresh gas, but it was on top of the water. Because, uh, if you notice, there's, uh, some people might not realize this, but water is heavier than gasoline, which will set to the bottom, and the gasoline will just set on top of it. So that would so the gasoline wouldn't even get into the carburetor. And there's still a little bit in here that I've got to get out somehow. And that's probably all that's wrong with it. Uh, put some gasoline in it, and it will probably run. Huh. All right. Well, that's all clean anyway. Well, while I'm here, I'll inspect. May 4th, 2004. It's still in, still in good shape anyway. And the float doesn't seem stuck or anything, so we're, we, are, we, we should be in okay shape. Okay, well, now I'm just going to work on getting the rest of the gas out of it. And I'm going to scrounge up some fresh gas and put in it and see what happens. Okay, I have now borrowed some gasoline. Um, <clears throat> now, it should, the, I've got all the old gas out of it, and it was, it looked bad. So, um, everything on it now, it should start. Okay, let me uh, set the camera up here and we'll see what happens. Okay, go ahead and slide it over to choke. Fuel is on. All right, let's give it a whirl. I might have to 
prime it. All right, I primed it a little bit. If this doesn't do it, or if it starts and runs, I know I might have to work on the carburetor some more. Here we go. Sounding better. I think I might have to work on the carburetor some more. Okay, so my diagnosis is that I got to probably dismantle the carburetor and I'll probably have to clean it out. Uh, there was a lot of crud in it, so I'm going to say it's probably stopped up. But we are on the problem because I primed it and you heard it start and run just momentarily. But it's almost 8 o'clock, so I think that I'm going to call it a night. I'm thinking, I'm hoping that I have this ready uh, tomorrow anyway. Yeah, uh, if that's all it needs, I should have it ready for pickup tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching.